Hi, welcome to the Cambridge Global English video tutorial for grade 3. Our topic is quiz. This is the last topic in unit 8, our amazing body. Listen and tick the box. Before playing the audio track, you need to read and understand these questions. What is Billy doing to stay healthy and strong? And what is the answer to the teacher's question? Listen and write. Now listen and tick the box. Here I'm going to play the audio track, listen to it attentively, and then tick the correct box. Second, 73. One. This week in school, we are learning how to stay healthy and strong. Billy. What are you doing to stay healthy and strong? I'm eating lots of vegetables. What kind of vegetables are you eating? I'm eating beans and tomatoes and carrots. Good for you. That sounds healthy and delicious. Two. Hello, class. Yesterday, we talked about ways to stay healthy and strong. We talked about eating healthy food and getting plenty of exercise. What is one more thing we need to do in order to stay healthy and strong? Sarah, what do you think? I don't know. I'll give you a clue. It is something you need to do every night for about ten hours. I know, I know, I know. I know. Three. Look at this picture. It shows some things that are inside our body. Put your hands on your sides. Can you feel your ribs? Yes, I can feel my ribs. I can feel them too. Inside our ribs are our lungs and our heart. They are very important parts of our body. Our ribs protect them. How many lungs do we have? Billy, do you know? Yes, we have two lungs. That's right, we have two lungs. Let's all write the word lungs by the picture of the lungs. Are you ready? Have you written the word lungs? Yes, yes we're, we're ready. ready. Good. Look between the two lungs. What can you see? Sarah, do you know? Is it the heart? Yes, it is. It's the heart. Let's all write the word heart by the picture of the heart. Excuse me, how do you spell heart? H-E-A-R-T. Thank you. I hope you have done that. If you missed it, replay the audio track and complete that. On the next page is read and circle the best answers. Read and circle the best answer. Here there is a conversation between two boys. You will, you can see in the picture. Look at the picture also and read this conversation and circle the correct option. George is talking to his friend Paul. George, hi Paul, what's the matter? Paul, I'm going to school. B, I fell and hurt my knee. C, this is my left knee. As in the picture you can see, this is his right knee. And uh, he, is, uh, he fell down and hurt his knee. So, option B is the correct. I fell and hurt my knee. In the same way, you will read 6 and 7 and circle the correct option. Next, it's Friday morning. Susan and her mom are looking at their calendar. Susan, what am I doing this afternoon after school? You can also read here in the calendar and you can answer what she is doing. Mom, you practiced your school play. You are practicing your school play. Shall I play with you? You can check it here and circle the correct answer what she is doing.
Susan, oh yes, that's right. What are we doing tomorrow? Mom, nothing, we are free. Would you like to go to the zoo? We didn't do anything, we went to the zoo. No, thank you, tomorrow is Saturday. Here you can see it is empty, so she is not doing anything. So the first option is correct. Nothing, we are free. Would you like to go to the zoo? She is giving her suggestion. Number 10, what are you doing tomorrow? Write a sentence. It's for you. Write any sentence, what you are planning to do tomorrow. Then the last one is my global progress. It's again for you. Your answers vary here. Think about the activities you did in this unit. Answer the questions. What were you good at? Name one or two activities. Again, I'm telling you that here you will write only the activities you did in this unit, not the other activities you do in your daily routine. So you will write the names or topics in this unit. I write that uh, I was good at writing rhyming words. I was good at writing rhyming words. What did you find difficult? Name one or two activities. You can write that uh, crossword puzzle was difficult for me or any other topic or activity which you feel were, uh, was difficult for you. That's all. Thank you.